To use Koji Advance, start out by applying the Koji Advance plugin to your project. Then, select your camera format. For this instance, this clip was shot with a Panasonic GH series DSLR. Next, select your film stock. There's a wide variety of film stock presets to choose from, and each will give you a different look to use as a starting point. Here we've selected 2393, a 35mm print stock. Once you've applied the film stock, you can use the film stock mix slider to make the film emulation more or less pronounced. We like how this 2393 stock is looking, so we're going to leave it at 100%. Next, we're going to white balance the clip. Koji Advance includes a powerful auto white balance tool for working quickly and a temp slider for applying a precise temperature in degrees Kelvin. We're going to use the temp slider to cool this shot down slightly. And that looks about good. To adjust the contrast curve of the image, Koji Advance has full lift, gamma, and gain controls. We can use lift to adjust the shadows, gamma to adjust the mid-tone curve, and gain to adjust the highlights. For instance, we could pull back the highlights on this slightly overexposed shot. The density control is especially useful for allowing you to adjust brightness in a way that leaves the other color and contrast relationships intact. For this clip, we're going to add quite a bit of density to make the subject pop. To help you refine your image further, Koji Advance also includes full printer point controls. These allow you to make very small, precise adjustments to your image. Historically, the look of all films was created using only density and printer points. When combined with the film stocks in Koji Advance, they are still a very powerful tool for shaping an image. Koji Advance also includes five film grain stocks that can help provide subtle texture to your clip. For instance, 5201 is an extremely subtle grain that is barely visible, but it can give some magic to the highlights. 5279, meanwhile, is much more obvious. Any of the film grain stocks can be made more or less obvious using the film grain contrast control. You can add more contrast to make the grain more obvious or less to make it more subtle. The film grain saturation control allows you to desaturate the grain if you'd like. This is useful with black and white film stocks where you don't want to include the color of the grain. Finally, the film grain mix control allows you to mix more or less of the grain into your image, giving you another way to subtly control the grain. So there's a quick introduction to Koji Advance. All of these controls allow you to very quickly customize 35mm film stocks that form the basis of Koji. Whether you're applying historic film stocks like the black and white 2302 or the rich and punchy 2393, these stocks are a great finishing step for a wide variety of projects. These film stocks are often beautiful right out of the box, but we present them as a starting point for your own creative grade. We hope you enjoy using Koji Advance.